Hello and welcome to the f episode 48 of Threads of Cold Steel here from Faceless Guy. Yeah, I'm on my I'm short channel. Please subscribe to the short channel. There is a link in the description of this video, and I want to show you here uh, something. This is um, who who should fall in love first with us with the other one. In case I want to write a story about them, Macburn and Claire, because my idea is as I said in the short. Please watch the short. Fire and ice. That's the basic idea. Here's the short. Please watch it. Um, there will be a link in the description. So yeah, and I think we should just jump, jump into the video. Please subscribe if you enjoy it, and um, consider subscribing to my other channels as well. <laughs> See you in a moment. Here we are in the video. Um, I start the video. I cut. I edited this video already, and I react to it. Meaning, um, I make the audio right now. Pause. Let's play. We just fought the monster in the sewers and um, field study in Heimdall. Fear and Lower tried to form a combat link, but they were not successful. They will talk in a moment. I'm gonna talk too much um, uh, when um, the people are talking. Yeah, but yeah, let's just see. Well, that was. You know, maybe you should just stop worrying about trying to form a combat link with each other. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I can see why you'd really want to. No. I don't want to hold our group back more than I already have. I'd like to withdraw from active combat and take a more supporting role for the duration of this field study. <gasps> huh? Why? She thinks uh, she is a problem in the attempts to form a combat link with um, Fee, but both of them are, are the problem. But Laura, it doesn't make any sense for you not to be in the thick of the fight. Don't be ridiculous. If anyone should be benched, it's me. It makes sense when you consider what each of us brings to a fight. No, my own immaturity is the cause of this. They are both too humble and they both want to be the one who is responsible. But you will see what happens in a moment and uh, when I record it's the first time and one of the reasons why I don't use the uh, audio I already had but I um, will react to it now. I, w I got angry because um, something which will happen. I, I, I show you. There's still a part of me that refuses to accept you and... So the reasons why there is sometimes a bit um, longer um, a kind of a um, period of time when the what is written, what they say is um, appears on the screen, and um, it's because I also talk. I, t I sometimes uh, cut it out while editing this, but yeah, you see it sometimes as well. This is the result. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't think I was this narrow-minded, and I apologize for the distress my prejudice has no doubt been causing you. I came to realize during my club activities that I still have a lot of maturing left to do. Laura. She is very honest about her feelings, Alex, is very much. So, her directly. If you have any ideas um, who might uh, be a good boyfriend for her when I write the story, tell me. As such, Reen, I wish to withdraw. Denied. Actually, I'll be the one withdrawing from frontline combat. And this is the reason why I was um, angry in the first ep episode, um, while editing the first time, because um, Reen is basically the most important character when fighting. Um, because he's the strongest, he has um, the ability to heal. I, I want him to be the uh, most important person, and the person who's healing. I gave him even Elliot Massacre, but yeah, this was. Um, I was. Yeah, 
a bit disappointed or but I mean it was not necessary too much because I didn't even fight after this. So I avoided the monsters. Um on the way on the in the time when I, he was not in the battle, so Let, anyway, let's continue. What huh? Rain? This seems awfully sudden. What's your line of thinking? During all the battles we fought, one thing stood out to me. I couldn't help but notice that under ordinary circumstances, Laura and Fee's fighting styles complement each other perfectly. I... well, you think so? Interesting. What do you mean? Laura's the ideal knight, standing strong in the thick of the fight, dominating enemies with her blade. Then there's Fee, the ideal vanguard, overwhelming the opposition with her speed and creating openings for Laura. During the practical exam, none of us should have stood a chance against the two of you. Hmm. When you put it that way, it does make sense. If they could form a combat link, they'd be virtually unstoppable. Yeah. I think I, I could still beat them. I am. I think Green could still beat them easily. Mm. Especially, of course, together with Alisa. But um, anyway, um. As a, as a thing to motivate those two to work together, um, it's a good thing. What he's saying. I don't think that's escaped you two either. That's why you keep trying to form a combat link, but there's something stopping you from connecting with each other. Whatever it is, it's been frustrating both of you this whole time, right? Mhm. Mm it's exactly as you say. Okay. So, since that's how things stand. It makes no sense for you two to just give up and withdraw from combat. In fact, considering everyone's relative strengths and weaknesses, I don't. I mean, it is of course. Um, it's the game thinks, of course, for example, that Elliot has his own master quads. So, um, I understand that um, maybe Renus. Uh, I mean, the way he is maybe designed or um, thought to be. Not the most important part of the um, battle of the party, but in my case, yes. I mean, he is one who can heal everyone. Um, and I gave him always the strongest items, which is maybe my own mistake, but <laughs> that's how it seems why, why I was um, upset. It makes the most sense for me to fall back. This way, you'll have more chances to work out whatever it is that's standing in the way of you forming a link. You have my thanks. We'll take you up on your offer then. That's what I like to hear. <sighs> you really can be audacious sometimes, you know. Just like you were with me and Eusis. You think? I don't really think I did anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> That's so you, Reen, to not think anything of it. Still, thanks to you, there might be hope for these two after all. We'll do what we can. But first, we need to get back to the hotel. I was so upset when I read this, but anyway, um, this episode is already um, through my reaction. Long as it should be. You should also just talk while um, I play. I don't interrupt myself. Especially not when they are not talking. And just uh, going through this dungeon. But I was trying to avoid all the monsters, run around them. They feel something. I actually increased the audio of the game. So you hear the music as well. And but not for the whole time, just for a moment. She knows that there is something behind this wall.
Wie heißt der, dass er das aus dem Sam und ähm, wie mit dem Chester Sober in den Try to Open sind und Try to Open aus, er was, ähm, just, you know, I don't want to fight when we need to do the battle group or so, I, I was thinking, and I still understand myself, kind of. I mean, he is very powerful and strong, so. Here we are, outside of the dungeon. The city hall. And we meet some um, old friends of Elliot's. Yeah. By the way, if you watch this, uh, my love, um, my girlfriend, um, then, um, here, hi. I love you. I know it's goes on, I wasn't sure. What have I done? Let's see. <laughs> there they are. Three of them. Maybe this is also the screenshot of the episode. I think I, I took a screenshot of those three playing together and um, declared this to be the screenshot of the thumbnail. Screenshot? Thumbnail. Thumbnail of the episode. Ron, Maurice und Kalinka. Äh, and Kalinka. Und. I was speaking German, sorry. Please subscribe, and um, please hit the um, red button. Um, uh, activate the bell if you're interested in um, getting notified if I upload something, and also like the video. If you want. Otherwise, don't do it. Elliot is very excited to meet his friends again, I understand him. And please also go to my MCM short channel and participate if you're interested in the potentially a love story between McBurn and the Icy Maiden in the poll I have um, put on there. Where I ask whether McBurn or the Icy Maiden should um, Start the initiative and fall in love first. I personally voted for McBurn because he's quite arrogant, and if he falls in love, it would it would be it, would, it could be very dangerous on the other other side as well. But still, interesting.
There will be another cutscene um, in a moment. Yes, I'm coming. Uh, it seems to be a bit sad. But we will talk about this um, in just a moment. It's evening already. I think we're coming home to um, Alto Street. Yeah, that's Alto Street. Ah, we are home. At, uh, it's home. I see it. The flowers on the side. This music room. Many instruments, I have to say. Indeed. A big collection. They will talk in a moment um, uh, for a while, so I will be maybe silent um, during this time. Whoa, this is incredible. He could open a shop with all the instruments here a piano, violins, wind instruments. A robust percussion section. I'm assuming the papers in the cabinet are all sheet music? There's no way you can call this just a hobby. <laughs> yeah, coming in here, this must look like some rabid obsession to you guys. You know, my mom was a pretty famous pianist. Being raised around music like that, my sister and I ended up sharing her love of music. Really? It's very lovely. Looking at all this, I can see why you decided to join the wind orchestra at the academy. Still, why didn't you go to the same school as the people we met earlier? Fee? Wait, Fee, that's not... <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sure this comes as no... It's a just question, um, and he doesn't have to answer it, but I think there's nothing wrong about asking it. Surprise. But I'd originally planned to attend the music academy. Oh. <gasps> it is a big surprise. I I'm, I have to mention I have to mention something at a certain point in the, in the next minutes, but not now. My sister and I grew up listening to our mom play the piano. Dad was more the strong stoic type. Didn't know much about music, but he was head over heels in love with her. Our home was always filled with the sound of music, and it kept our family smiling together. But seven years ago, Mom got really ill. Eventually, she passed away. After her death, my sister and I both wanted to follow in her footsteps. She enrolled at the Music Academy and began working toward a career as a pianist. Naturally, I tried to do the same, but Dad wouldn't hear of it. It's one thing to have it as a hobby. But the idea of a man of the Empire making his living through music is absurd. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, he just shook his head and refused to listen. Then he started recommending one military academy after another, trying to push me toward a career in the army. Eventually, I didn't have much choice. This is not very um, nice of him. I uh, like the military. Not at all. But um, yeah, in a game, it's maybe okay. But um, the game tries to be realistic, and so I am, yeah, am not in favor of this. 
I had to give up my dream of attending the music academy. I'm currently maybe half ridden with the second game, maybe, maybe also just one third, but I'm in a good way. If you want to see this, please like and subscribe. I hated him for it. I really did. I'm no good at fighting, never have been. I'd get smoked in a real war. But after some research, I found one academy, Thor's, offered plenty of music-related classes. And that about half of its graduates end up in careers outside the military. In the end, I met him halfway and chose to enroll at Thor's. <laughs> kind of pathetic, huh? You've all got great reasons why you're there at the academy. Um, I think that's a very good reason to do a good day. Um, um, it's nothing bad about not um, wanting to fight in the war. Then there's me, who'd rather be on a stage than a battlefield. But I couldn't go against- No one wants to be in a battlefield, I think. It's my dad. There will be a second time a very um, emotional story. Mm, in this, uh, on this field study from Machia, Machias. For a while, I started to think that maybe my pa passion for music had kind of cooled off, but I'm still full of regrets about the music academy and the summer festival concert. So, I guess it hasn't after all. Oh, I wish I could just crawl into a hole right now. So that's how you ended up at Thor's. I had no idea. <sighs> she, um, she asks a very good question, no? Do you regret it? Coming to Thor's and all? Huh? Of course not. Why would I? Huh? So, you don't? Life at the academy keeps me busy, but I still have time to perform with the wind orchestra after class is out. And I feel like I really broaden my horizons every time we go on a field study. Honestly, I feel like I get more out of Thor's than if I had just enrolled at the music academy without much thought. Maybe it's because whether I decide I want to be a musician or do something else totally different, I'll at least have the chance to choose what I want, without someone deciding for me. I'm sorry for the um, long times when nothing happens. Um, I try to um, not do this too often. I have to make the audio again. I, I, except there are some fighting episodes, then I may be rude. Um, but yeah, let's see. Elliot, wow, you've really given this a lot of thought. You really are strong, Elliot. <laughs> I wish I thought so too. I still feel jealous when I see my friends who went to the music academy putting their heart and soul into their music. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Besides, if I hadn't come, I never would have met you guys, would I? I'd regret that way more. Um, it's a little bit embarrassing. I think uh, Marcus will say something about this, but I mean, yeah, Rin um, is also very good in saying embarrassing things. How can you say that with a straight face? Maybe he's just oblivious. I didn't think I was saying anything particularly embarrassing. <laughs> I figured that most people would blush saying something like that. <laughs> Still, this is Elliot we're talking about. He can get away with it. Yeah, Elliot, you say something in a moment. You're the last person who should be saying that, Reen. That's true. Reen is a master of saying embarrassing things and 
and talking without realizing what he is saying. Actually, I just remembered. I guess I do have one regret after all. Oh? What is it? Remember the summer festival concert my friend said they're going to be performing in? Back when my mom was still alive, she performed in it, and my sister played in it five years ago too. So I was really hoping that I'd be able to take the stage there one day too. You can. No one is uh, preventing you from doing so at some point. The same way as no one is preventing you guys from clicking the red button below this video and like this video. And or activating the bell. So no one is preventing you from doing so. You just need to do it. The video ends very quickly um, in just a moment, so I already say um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe again, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Here you see um, the Capella page, I will also link in the description. Um, I have to say something in the kind of outro, it's uncommon for my episodes of course, but my let's plays. But I just watched the um, movie, um, 450 from Paddington, and it's a episode um, from 1987, or it takes place in 1987, or it was broadcast in 1987, I'm not sure. Add it. Um, Oh, the episode, you know, um, it was, um, I'm not exactly sure when it started, but it's from the BBC, and it's the one episode here, 450 from Pelton, I watched, and it's an amazing episode, it's a, a cute episode, I mean, it's a murder story, but it's a small little love story, it's a um, side, and I liked it very much, so, if you're interested, um, you can also check it out yourself, um, I will have a link to this Wikipedia page in the description. Um, maybe it is useful for you to also find it out how to watch it. The, I mean, there's a DVD, there's um, maybe something on Netflix, even I'm not sure, but you can watch it, I think. And yeah, it's it's awesome. There's also um, the story you can read. Maybe I can also link this. I'm not sure, but um, you could find it. I think it's um available in the internet. Maybe I will have, will have a link, but I'm not sure. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It will be coming out in a few days. So see you next time.